Welcome to another Clio, this 2010 Renault Clio and in this video I'm going to be changing the clutch master cylinder basically follows on from the last video when I managed to fit the heater blower obviously the only way to get the blower in was to remove the clutch pedal and that meant disconnecting the master cylinder from the pedal and unfortunately I managed to uh, slightly slightly damage the master cylinder I'll show you on this replacement one this is a Delphi one I got it from from Autodox so I'll just pull this out out of the box in now you see this uh, this white plastic here like three tabs and it helps secure it to the uh, to the ball on the clutch pedal and what's happened I think your one of the tabs is broken off so you know the, the master cylinder end of the master cylinder kept popping off the pedal so what I've did just as a bit of a as a temporary fix now all you're gonna see up there you can see the uh, I actually secured it with several cable ties and it's it's held until now so that's done the job I've now got the new master cylinder I can get that fitted and all I have to do is it's a bayonet fitting so just need to disconnect the hoses there's two hoses one from the fluid reservoir I don't know how well you can see from here uh, it's buried in the depths of the bulkhead and uh, I just pull this Shield back somewhere and down there is is the, uh, the clutch master cylinder. It's a bit difficult to see. Let me get the light in. But it's there somewhere. There's a I think there. That's one of the connections. It's a bit difficult, but it should it should come out. But yeah, there's a, I think it's just a one, one hose. I'll just have to check on the new one. Just pull that out. Pull that out there. Uh, wrap in. So you can see. Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a pipe below, which must go to the slave cylinder. And this this one probably goes from the from the fluid reservoir uh, like most French cars yeah yeah hydraulic fluid is usually shared between clutch and brake so one of these one of these hoses goes to the goes to the slave cylinder and the other goes to the fluid reservoir not sure where that goes I don't think this is going to be an easy job. I think, like I said, it's a, it's like a bayonet con connection. It's really difficult to see. Oh yeah, I can see I can see those. This, yeah, there's there's that's yours to the to the fluid reservoir. So I need I need to stop all the, all that fluid from leaking out. And then, yep, there, down there, and it's just held in by a clip. Just pull the clip out, disconnect that. Gonna, gonna lose fluid, but don't think that can be helped. So I need to find some way of reducing or minimising the uh, fluid loss. So it shouldn't be too hard to disconnect these two lines. Yeah, there's that one line then. That's the flexible lows and the. And the one going to the to the slave cylinder down here is I don't know how well you can see that somewhere down there there you can see that there there's the end of the slave cylinder who knows it's inside the gearbox so it's just a matter of bleeding it from there anyway I think I, I think I'm going to do this off camera this is going to be an awkward messy job so. Disconnect these two hoses first. I've got, I've got, got a pick and 
probably need to to plug this reservoir because I'll be spilling brake fluid, which which wouldn't be a good thing. Before I do any of that, I'll see if I can free off this master cylinder. Like I said, it's a bayonet fitting inside the car, and I'll, I'll need to uh, unclip those, uh, get rid of those cable ties. So I've disconnected the master cylinder at the clutch pedal. What I'm not going to do is, I don't know how well you're going to see. Yeah, because my hands are going to get in the way. Yeah, so if you can see that clip there, I'm going to get in with my pick. Just lift that clip up. There we go, I've got him. Just, just pull it out, don't need to pull it out completely there, just enough to get that brake light, that clutch line out. This is going to be awkward. Now, just lift it out. And hopefully it shouldn't be much of, of any fluid loss. And then I've got to pull, pull this hose out there. So try to try to minimise a uh, fluid spillage because brake fluid is a, makes for a good paint stripper. Which is what I should have used, wouldn't I? So I've got got. Got a suitable rag. Just, this is just a push fit, so give it a good pull. That's what she said. And that's that out. So we don't seem to have lost lost much fluid. So that's not entirely a bad thing. So in theory, I should be able. To Turn it the required amount of degrees and then it should just come out. I'm not sure which way to turn. Uh, let's have a look. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go on this one. I don't know which way which way it turns. It's just just awkward to and with it ah there. It's clockwise facing towards the bulkhead and then it's just a matter of extracting it and out it comes and we've got this hose in the way it's okay just turn it round and there we go I've managed to, uh, to liberate our clutch Master cylinder. I'll just quickly grab the light. I'll show you what the problem was. The necessity of replacing it. You can see one of the uh, one of the tabs has broken off, so it's never going to stay in place. So I've got the new slave cylinder. And refitting is just the reverse of taking it out. So I just need to snake the, this hose in, and that says it's a it's a bayonet fit in and just put it in and turn it anti-clockwise a little bit to secure it in place so it took quite a bit of doing it's quite a number of hours later and the trick to bleeding these it's different you don't have a bleeding for what you undo uh, you've got your hook your brake hose here that goes into your slave cylinder and it's secured by these two clips so if you pull pull this clip out, if, if you can see, you so if you can't see, but there you can see the two clips, and there goes my pick. But the one nearest to the to the clip, to the gearbox, you pull that out, and it pulls the pipe out enough to uncover the bleed nipple and let let the uh, fluid out. And plus, I was facing downhill earlier on, so. There's no way I could have got the air out of the system, but so when I turned the car around, I started getting the air out. But these are an absolute pig to do, so job's pretty much done. Got a fully working clutch, 
So, I'm going to end this video here. I just get everything buttoned up because uh, to get to the slave cylinder, you need to get to you need to take this intake hose out. I think it's a I'm not sure what it is, it's probably for turbo or something. Well, it's an intake hose. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it as ever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.